Off-Road Dut is back. We've had some crappy weather these past two weeks, but today we're taking advantage of that. The purpose of the truck was to be an all-in-one. So far, we've taken it camping, trailer the race cars everywhere. Now today, we're putting this to the test. As the truck sits, aside from like the bed, this thing is pretty much exactly how I got it stocked. We've got, well, I say stock in quotes because it's not. We got the truck with the wheels and tires on and the Fox off-road suspension, and we have upgraded upper control arms too which have been really sick. Now, I'm not a huge overlander. I do want to get into it, but I've never really been overlanding or trail riding. We took the Jeep one time, and of course we've taken the truck camping a few times, but never truly off-roading. Now, oh, actually, well, we went to the desert, but I don't know if that counts. Um, but like I said, these past two weeks, we have had terrible weather, so we're gonna take a break from the cars today and hop in the truck and have some fun. Actually get some real overlanding done. I hope. I have no idea the condition of this trail. It's something that we found local that I thought would be really fun to test the truck out on. That's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Also a purpose of this, I do have a new setup that we're gonna be running as far as wheels and tires go. And I really wanna get the bed of this truck outfitted and actually just go on solo camping adventure stuff. So before we can do that, I really wanna test the car. So Timbro also took out his family adventure vehicle here. Timbro and his family actually has a Outback, a Subaru Outback that's lifted on some big old it's not lifted. It comes stock like this? Stock, oh, awesome. dang. That's pretty cool. Not lifted on, on also some off-roading tires and some 1552 wheels. This thing is actually sick. So we have 4x4 on this thing, and I'm really hoping she shines today. Like I said, I have no idea what to expect. We're going to see how far we can make it in this trail. We're heading to the mountains, and we're going to have some fun. If we have a successful mission today, I'm going to need your help later on in this video. We're going to be outfitting the bed of this truck, making this the ultimate bed camper. So stay tuned in the video. It's going to be a fun one. It's going to be a different one. And I'm going to need some suggestions towards the end of today's video. Hopefully, we're not going to need these, but... Hey, it's good to have them. You want to put them in here? It just rained, so... Like downpoured for two weeks straight? be soft. <laughs> do, uh, do you have... I guess you can just lay them in there. We don't know what we're doing. So any of you off-road guys, you're going to roast us, but just beforehand, we have no idea what we're doing. We're going to figure it out. It's going to be fun, and who knows? This little adventure could lead us to some more bigger adventures that we've been planning, so stay tuned. Let's go have some fun. Off-road adventure number one, let's do it. My God. Okay, let's get out and see what we're getting into. It's the truck trail right there. Are you ready for this? Overrun with water. I guess we're gonna find out. It's still pretty wet up here. It's not as wet as it is back at home. Up here, we're about 3,000 feet in elevation right now, and it's pretty freaking wet. <laughs> but this looks so sick. All right, guys, this is gonna be. The, do you know how long this trail is? I think it's like, I'm not mistaken, it's like 15 miles. Oh my God. I don't know. I don't I, know if we'll be able to make Yeah, it. I don't know how long. We looked at the. Like, we, we uh, scoped this yes. out, and we looked at the beginning, and you can't get up. Right. So. We're gonna have to do some sort of. A I think around. there's like a. I think there's like a lookout yeah. point that we can hopefully make it to, depending on how brutal this trail is right now. So Timbro here has got the Outback. This thing is all-wheel drive, yeah. super all-wheel drive, so it's yeah. good. And it's got X mode just in case. Yeah. Now the only problem is if I get stuck, I we're can screwed. pull you out. <laughs> That'll Look be at interesting. That. Look at that. Yeah. We're four it? low. Okay. Not right now. You think right now? I'll get a little further okay. in. I'll get a little further in. You should be fine for a while. Yeah, I think so. I don't think this is a heavy trail. I think it's a mild trail. Okay. We'll see though. We need, we need beginner status here, yeah. but yeah, we'll see. Let's get going.
All right, Timbro says that we are uh, slipping, so we're gonna go ahead and put her in four low here. All right, four low, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> this trail is sick. The truck is taking it like a champ, too. The suspension feels so nice. Oh, let me get a picture right here. Take this here, guys. <laughs> uh, so, oh yeah, we've got quite the trail ahead of us. I have no idea how, this is my first time ever filming something like this, so I don't really know how we're gonna film it yet, but take a look at it. The truck so far is handling like a champ, and so is Timbro's car, we're doing good. Definitely going up the trail is gonna be a lot harder, but let's have some fun. Definitely lots of ruts in the sand here from all the rain. It looks like what we're about to come up to is gonna get a little dicey. So we'll take this one easy. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Man, we are high up here. It's like a little fire service road up there. All right, here's where it's gonna get kind of serious. You know, honestly, it might even be better that we waited for the rain here, making the dirt and the sand a little more compact for us. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Look at this overview. The trail goes all the way down there. So nuts. Oh yeah, she's getting a little spicy coming up here. Super stoked that we found this because this is definitely like a really rad beginner trail. Now, <laughs> I love that we're starting on a trail like this though. Yeah, it's because perfect. it just tells you what you would probably need next. Exactly, and that's the, that was the purpose. Okay, so if it keeps getting deep like this, I'll put it at four high. But I think we should be okay. Going up is gonna be an issue, not going down. Yeah, for sure. Because you're heavy, so like going up is gonna be worse. <laughs> It'll be an experience for all of us guys. So far, so good though. This has been an absolute blast. The truck also just looks amazing in here. Our cars are doing great. Let's continue. Now we're at a crossroads. That one looks sketchy. That one looks safe. I vote we take the sketchy one. Sketchy path is always <laughs> the right way. So left? Yes. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Four, four low. So we were just, where were we? Up right up there. Or was it right up there? Oh yeah, right up there, yeah. Okay, four low. All right. 
Let's try this. definitely tell the largeness the footprint size of this truck on tiny trails like this but that's what makes it fun this thing is uh, very large and in charge oh my god We are very large on this trail. Oh my God. This is quite scary. Oh, we're making it through. This thing is super rutted. So we gotta watch out for that. But she's taking it like a champ. She's a tank, that's for sure. Oh, came to a little scouting and uh, that looks pretty gnarly there. I don't know if we'll be able to make it through that. That is rutted completely. We may have a small issue. I don't know. <laughs> that, that's dicey. That's for a dry day? Probably. Oh my God. This is, okay, so I'm just gonna say this now, we have no experience. And this is a part that we would need someone with experience to guide them. Yeah, look through. at look at this. Because you could make it, you would just have to go up high. Have to follow the rut. Yeah. Pretty much. Damn, but if we could get past this part, down here looks pretty clear because you can see the rest of the trail going all the way down there to the actual lookout point. The, uh, <laughs> I think this got run up by the rain. Though. Yeah, for sure. All the rain just took all the dirt from here. Dang. This fresh. This looks really fresh. Dang. Yeah, this is brutal. Like, look at this rock. The rock has moved. Yeah. I think the truck could make it, but I just don't feel comfortable enough. <laughs> full you could make it there, could you make it back? If we could get past this one, one area, we could make it. Down this whole path, and then you get to like a certain point where it looks like it drops off, and the road's fine. Oh, we are so close. So, I can literally see the end. I can see the end right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think this is a little bit more experienced. Yeah, see, okay, if we had someone with knowledge with us, I'd feel comfortable with them guiding me, guiding the truck through this, but I mean, guys, look at that mountain. One wrong move and this truck, like, tips. Yeah. <laughs> not, not a good day. We're, I think we're gonna make our way back up the trail now. Holy moly, dude. This looks even worse back It's so funny, <laughs> looking at it that way, it didn't look bad. It's bad. Send her back up. Yeah. All right. Man, sun's coming out. It's getting a little toasty. All right. I'm gonna try and stay out of the ruts here. I feel like I need to break out the America hat for this. Here we go. Now we're really ready, tactical and ready.
Oh my god, this is gnarly! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. The truck takes it like a champ! Let's go! This is sick! Guys, I think I'm getting bit by the bug. And we made it. Let's get to the top and wait for Timbro. Oh. What a sick little adventure. Little pinstripes for, for our battle here. I will say this thing is an absolute tank. It's taking all of this like a champ. We made it. Let's get some shots here. All right, well, we made it through that. That was a yeah. little dicey, but I think- come back with a professional. Yeah, I think successful mission for what we're capable of. Yeah. If any of you guys want to come with us off-roading and really show us how to do it, we'll, we'll set something up. I think that'll be really fun. But now it's just time to make it all the way back up the mountain. But the first 90% was super easy. Um, pretty much just a basic trail with no ruts. Down here it got super bad because of how, because of the downward slope and elevation change. But going up should be pretty fun. It'll be pretty interesting going up in all the mud. So we'll see how she does. But I'm super stoked. That was a lot of fun. Definitely gonna go back out. But let's hop back in and finish her up. Oh, that's gnarly. Look at that view. Dude, we are up here. Like a champ. Man, this thing is so sick. This is a problem because I'm getting bit by the bug. I'm gonna wanna adventure literally everywhere. If you guys have any good spots that we should check out in SoCal, let us know. I need all the suggestions. This was amazing. We're about to head to Japan and uh, hopefully by the time we get back from Japan, all of the stuff for our new wheel and tire and we have a little bit of a suspension change which we'll show you guys, which is more for towing, but still relatively cool. The new setup and also build out the bed, which we'll talk about once we get back to the shop, but leave us some suggestions of trails that we should try out. Or if there's any like local meetups or anything like that, let me know, because I definitely want to get more into it. This is awesome. Look at this little overpass, the brick. So cool. Success! That was so much fun, dude. We gotta do this again. We, we need suggestions on where yeah. to go for the next I already one. said it. I already said it. Give <laughs> us some suggestions. Look at these two beasts. I'm so excited to get the new setup on. Yeah. That's gonna be sick. Yeah. So we didn't make it all the way, but I think we got as far as we could. Listen, it's it's better to not make it all the way <laughs> and, and make it back than to get stuck. And then how would you get this out? <laughs> like, to be I honest I with you. I don't know. I have no idea. You would have to get a Jeep boy to come pull you out or something? I don't something. even know, yeah. I don't even know. The fact, the sheer size of this thing. I'm sure it's more than capable. It's just having the experience and knowing what the heck to do. But 
Anyways, we made it back successfully. The truck was amazing. Let's get her back to the shop and go over what's next. Let's put her back in two wheel drive here and ready to head to the shop. I am so pumped on this thing, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's something completely different, but on the end of the spectrum, you know, like doing the car stuff is amazing, but taking a break and doing something like this was so much fun. So let me know down in the comments if you guys enjoyed this and if you want to see more. And of course, give us all the suggestions. Like I said, we're gonna head back to the shop and let's talk a little bit about what's next with the truck. Safe and sound back home. That was an epic adventure. I had a ton of fun, even though it was super noob friendly. I had a ton of fun. So now let me give you guys a little sneak peek at what's to come for the truck. And then I need some suggestions from you guys. So we've been hoarding these for quite a while, waiting for the right time. And we've got some brand new beefy Firestone destinations, which I'm super stoked about. And some suspension components, which we'll talk about when we actually do the new setup. Speaking of other things, I really want to get this bed outfitted with everything I need to make this the ultimate camper show so the smart cap is already super sick uh, we have some ideas of what we want to do and make like a little cot area for our mattress and sleeping area and then we're also gonna build a really cool kind of want to call it like a shelf to if I want to cook in the bed I can and it's also gonna have some storage in it we'll explain all this when we actually do the video but this is where I need you guys anybody that has done this before or knows we're looking for insulation I really want to insulate this but also make it look make it look very nice so we can really use anything to insulate it but I want to know if you guys have any good suggestions because we can you know put it on the walls and then use some vinyl to cover it up to make sure that it's not ugly insulation is what we need as well as we want to put some led lights for good lighting in here that's what's coming next as well so we really want to build out the bed and if you guys have any suggestions on cool things that i should do let me know oh wait also since we do have the deck system building out some kind of like shelves or platforms to also use this to cook on if we're like outside of the truck that'd be super sick so lighting bed cabinet shelf thing some lighting. sort of way to have water water yes you need some sort of like a pump system that yeah. you can have water that'd be sick especially for when i go surfing if i want to like shower myself that'd be really cool we can also keep that like right here when we have the shelf we got this this is gonna be cool this is the start of a very cool project like a... super super stoked on how the truck performed today suspension felt amazing wheels and tires i'm excited for all the upgrades next up order a bunch of stuff and get this bed outfitted I do not understand how it is still raining out here. This is crazy. But I hope you guys like the reveal of the F Cape. The Spoon Legends car looks so good. But uh, uh, today is actually drop day. We're not doing anything in the shop today uh, because we're about to leave for Japan and we wanna wait to start all of our projects until we get back because the project that we've been keeping secret starts as soon as we get back from Japan, which I am super stoked for. And uh, Holding true to showing you guys a little bit more of what I do other than just work in the garage and all the good stuff. Uh, today is drop day. You guys along for kind of what I do on a, ooh, this is sliding. For what I, I'll show you. For what I do on a Legends drop day. We are gonna head over to Legends HQ and sign some orders, show you guys what goes on behind the scenes for Legends and all that good stuff. Ooh. Like I wish the weather was a little bit better. I mean, it's been for the past two weeks just raining all day. It's been hard to like do anything, but it's also kind of nice. Little rainy weather freeway pull here. <laughs> a quick side mission before we get to the shop actually though we gotta get some gas now usually for maximum sauce we'll use e85 as you guys know or actually if you don't know this car is e85 we can use 90 percent e85 and then other 10 percent 91 and it gives you all the sauce but just for now we'll be rocking with some 91 for you guys but it just looks so damn good the splitter picks up all the dirt from all the rain and stuff but this thing looks so menacing you know 
with the white front end, you couldn't really tell how aggressive the front end of this car is. But now with the blue, the yellow headlight accent makes it look so aggressive. It is sick. And it's also so funny to see all the looks that this car gets. It's so cool. Okay. We made it. Oh! It's fine. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing with those? We're gonna sign them. We're signing them? Oh! Ima! <laughs> What's going on in here? I don't know. Someone's getting hurt. <laughs> All right, today is drop day, which means we're doing some special stuff for some special orders. Everybody's favorite legends duo here, Imana and Chad. Hey. Here, so this is what it looks like behind the scenes of Legends. Lots of, you can't show his address, come on. Lots of action going on up here. But no, today I'm gonna, oh God. Today I'm gonna choose a couple of the orders that you guys made and sign them. We have some extra rare R35 cards. I'm gonna sign them and add them into some orders. Jackson, all the way from Minnesota? Yeah, Minnesota. Minnesota ordered 20 packs. Just in case you don't get a rare card in your 20 packs, I'm giving you a signed one. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Hold it yeah. for me. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. There you go, Jack. Jack, Jackson, I'm calling him Jack. All right, while we're waiting for some orders to get pulled here, I thought I'd give you guys a little tour of the Legends HQ. This is where all the magic happened. Got all your accessories over here, so where are the hoodies and the sweatshirts and flags. You don't even know flags. where everything is. What do you mean? Yeah, I do. This is my spot. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's kind of cool to show you guys behind the scenes of all this stuff, because you only ever get to see me Oh, they're unreleased. That, that, they're, they're unreleased. You guys can't see that yet. You guys only get to ever see me show off the stuff. You don't really get to see where it comes from and how we ship it out and all that good stuff. Maybe I'll ship a couple orders today. Yeah, let's, let's switch you to work. <laughs> for once. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, here's the new stuff. This looks super cool. All the stuff is getting ready to ship out for you guys. All the new Gundam stuff. Well, we just had a successful live with you guys. Really quick before I get out of here, check out what we got coming up. This is all the new stuff that's about to come out for the last drop of the giveaway. But these are what you guys are gonna love. But unfortunately, and fortunately though, these are actually only for VIPs to get the North Face edition, but we did just normal ones too, which is still pretty sick. The North Face ones are VIP exclusive, but we got tons of cool stuff. We got banners, some dope stickers, jet tags, all this stuff's about to come. So this is usually what happens. I get all the samples, get to check it out, do the photos for the drop and everything. Yeah, that's tight. It looks sick. Oh, it looks awesome. That was really sick. What do you think? Holy crap, that looks, Stop. I swear that looks so good. I saw it through the window. Most YouTuber I reaction I've ever yeah, seen ever. Well, I'm a YouTuber, what do you expect? <laughs> I'm gonna check it from that afar. Cool, but but it, that looks really cool. But it looks way cooler from the front. Yeah. You gotta go out in the rain and see That's it. Fine. Come on. I should drive. Come check it out. No. Listen. No. I should drive. No. Is it a stick? Every time yeah. Jessica's driven a car, on, she's go. gotten pulled over, go. money you shifted it, and misshifted it. Let's go, come on, I'm driving it. No, you're not. Wow, open the trunk. How do we open? Right there. Oh, I need to do it out of the key. There you go. Oh, it doesn't just come up? There you go. This is sick. It's pretty sick, right? Yo. It looks good. It looks so good. This thing is clean. Okay, so I heard like people saying, oh, that's a spoon livery. Yeah. I don't know anything about that. It's my favorite Honda tuner from Japan. You can see the turbo down there. Hmm. It's all pretty cool. Okay. See ya. Give me my key. Bye, guys. Okay. Mission success for today. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's different video. Like I said, taking a little bit of a break from the cars and hopping in the truck and having a little adventure. Um, let me know if you guys wanna see more of this. And like I said, give us some suggestions on where else we should go. We are preparing for Japan. The next video that you guys see, we will be in Japan for a really amazing adventure out there. Probably one of the best trips that we will ever have. And I'm super excited. Uh, we'll tell you guys more about it once we actually get to Japan, but it's gonna be a good trip. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit 
hit that like button, leave us a comment down below, and of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 800k. After 800k comes a million. I'm super excited. So again, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys for the next one. Peace out.